So here's the painting we're going to do. So we're going to make this pretty simple and first of all we're going to do our sky so I taped it off to our horizon and then I'm just going to take some blue paint, this ultramarine blue, teeny bit of red, just enough to make a little bit of a purplish color, not too much, lots of white. I'm using a bristle brush. And we will put that on top of the sky. So get a nice sky in there. Let's go back and forth. Long strokes. Back and forth. Go back and forth because you want to make your strokes long so you don't get any streaks. And that's how you get a nice blended sky. So keep putting that on. Just keep mixing your paint. Even if it doesn't come out exactly the same when you're, mix, when you're mixing your paint, that's okay. Because you don't want everything to be exactly the same color, so it makes it more fun. There we go. Back and forth. Long strokes. We get a pretty sky up here. As you come down, you can go a little lighter. So that uh, the sky will lighten up a little bit there in the background. Go back over what you did on top if you like. Back and forth. See, long strokes takes all the streaks out. And lots of white. Now we're going to be putting trees down here. So it's okay, but still I like to have a light color down here in case you can see through some of them. Good. And it's good to learn that the sky is darker on top and lighter at the bottom. It's all good practice. Back and forth, back and forth. Good. Good. Keep going. Just put your paint on until you're happy with it. See how pretty that is? Pretty sky. Now, see now you have your sky done. Now we're going to do our trees. I'll just get a dark green if you have sap green, that will be great and a hooker's green or hunter green something dark just tap into it with your bristle brush bristles will give you nice uh, shaped trees and just start on the left or right and tap just tap gently so you can get some shapes Just come up around. Good. And if your background is wet, you can get, let it dry if you like so that it doesn't uh, interfere with your green. So it's better for it to dry first. Now you can get a darker green by adding a little bit of blue. You'll get a nice darker green. You don't want to be too blue. So just get a dark green. There we go. Different shapes. And you're just coming, the tops of your, your trees can come up about, we'll say cut that in thirds, about a third of the way up on top of your tape. See, if you, if you tap gently, you're going to get those nice tops. You can start at the top first and work your way down if you want to to get a better shape again. Just keep putting in different shapes. See, I got a top just by touching, and then I move down. All right? So touch, 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 touch. 
and fill in. Good. So go all the way across. Touch. Good. Make some higher than others if you didn't make them high enough. Touch. 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 <laughs> there we go. Now you got a bunch of trees. Cool. We'll be doing more things with these trees to uh, bring them out more. Now you can add some black to your green to really make some really nice dark trees for those bottom smaller trees. Just make some small ones down here at the bottom just to give it some depth. Same thing, just tap, touch, and move over. Touch. It's one of those background trees. Just find out where your line is so you can find out where you're going to put your trees the top of your tape good now my paint is wet because I want to get this video done for you in a shorter period of time so I don't have to do it in too many lessons so I'm hoping to do this in one lesson uh, less than an hour maybe shorter if it goes over an hour, then I'll probably do two lessons, and then I'll put in a, I'll put it in a playlist for you, so you won't have to be searching for it. Good. If you don't want to wait for this painting to be up on YouTube, and you want to get the full lesson, you can go to my Patreon page and get it there. I'm making them really dark. Good. As you can see, they push back the other trees. The darker in the front really pushes back those other trees and they can make them look a little more distant. As you can see in the painting, the trees are a little more distant when you have some darker trees in front. That's the ones at the back there. We don't have anything done on top yet. Now you can take the tape off. There we go. Off she goes. Good. Get rid of that tape so you won't make a mess of yourself. Get that in the garbage right away. Okay, so then now what we're going to do to make this really easy, we're going to do the whole bottom of the canvas with our water. So as you can see, we have the water. And that's all we're going to do first. And we're not even going to put all those waves or anything in it yet. We're just going to do the basic color. Take some green paint. Same sap green or whatever color you have there. And you can do both ways. You can put on your green first. Like this. Start at the top, not the whole canvas, because by the time you put your white on, it'll be all dry. So you want to keep working wet on wet. So because it's still wet, we will add some white. Just watch. So you pick up some white. We're working wet on wet, so therefore, we get to have some really pretty green. So that's one way to do it. Like that. See, so that way you get a little, keep some of your shadows. So another way you can do it is just add green to your brush, both sides if you like, and some white, maybe on one side, so it won't be too much. And that way you will get the same effect. You get to keep some of your green and some white, and they'll separate. That will give you that really pretty green color. All right, so just keep doing that. Add more white to your brush and some more green. Good. Go back and forth. We want to keep the green a little light. Good. 
good. If you lose too much green, just put some back in without any white. Just put your sunny green there. And because it's wet on wet, like I said, it'll separate. And you get some really pretty greens. Oh, let's continue. So I'm going to go back and get some green. I'm going to get some white. Look at all the paint I got. Tons of it. See? I don't know what size canvas you're using, but I'm using 11 by 14. I find 11 by 14 is good because then I can make my video a little shorter. I use less paint. And it's um, just a perfect size for doing some really nice paintings. You can get lots of detail in there. 8.5 by 11 or 8 by 10, or anything small like that. It's hard to show all the details. This is kind of nice. So I'm just going to go in some white this time because my green is just not separating enough. So there we go. See that? See how I'm getting some little bits of white coming through now? So now I'll go in with some green and some white again. There we go. So you don't want it to be all one color. You want like different shades of green, different values of green. And some of that white showing through and some of the darker colors showing, darker green showing through. See? So it's, you can see it's not just one green. So I picked up some white that time. And it's a little bright, so I'm going to go back and get some green. See? Just back and forth, back and forth. There we go. See that? Good. Pretty simple. So let some of that white, the lights and darks come through. See that? So that's a good start. That is a good start. And we will be adding more lighter colors to that as we go with our nice, um, we'll be going with our, see all that, all that that goes in there, all those rocks and those little waterfalls and all those little colors. They all come next time when we decide to do maybe the rocks and then we'll add some of those water lines okay and just to show you the flat brush because I was saying I was going to use my fan brush and my flat brush just to show you how the flat brush will work do the same thing just pick up your green and your white do the same thing we just did and the same you'll get the same effect see see you might even get a better effect just try it and see which brush you like the best. Okay, there we go. This is kind of cool because it helps separate the paints even more. All right, so that looks good. That works also. 